maltodextrin, which is a sweetener that increases blood sugar. And it also has a canola oil, which is a rancid oil, so not... All right, so maltodextrin is a sweetener. It's a carbohydrate. Of course, it increases blood sugar because that's what carbohydrates and sugars do. That doesn't make it a bad thing that it increases blood sugar. That's just how our bodies work. Of course, if you have diabetes, you have to monitor your blood sugar, but just because sugars and carbohydrates increase blood sugar doesn't mean that they're bad for you. All right, so now let's talk about the canola oil is rancid claim. I've heard that so many times. So rancid means oxidized and any oil or fat has the potential to oxidize. Unsaturated fatty acids like canola oil are less stable, meaning they have higher potential to oxidize when exposed to the air and oxygen. Um, however, that doesn't just mean that they are always automatically rancid. That doesn't make any sense. That would be like saying that strawberries are worse than apples because strawberries spoil faster than apples, therefore they're always spoiled. No, they're not always spoiled. They have the potential to spoil faster than apples, but that doesn't mean that they're always spoiled. Let's take a look at his explanation for what he means by rancid. To extract these oils, they go through a hydrogenation type of process and the oil becomes unstable, especially in... All right, I'm gonna stop him right there because he's extremely confused. So extraction is a completely separate process from hydrogenation. And these oils, so if something lists canola oil, it is not hydrogenated. Um, so if something is listed as hydrogenated, like hydrogenated soybean oil, then it means that it went through this hydrogenation process. Now this hydrogenation process is not the same as oxidation, which is what rancidity is referring to. Also, when you hydrogenate an oil, it changes the unsaturated fatty acids into saturated fatty acids, which makes it even more stable. So the fact that he's saying that hydrogenation makes it unstable is incorrect as well. So he's confusing extraction with hydrogenation with oxidation. These are three different things and canola oil is not hydrogenated unless it specifically says hydrogenated canola oil, which actually makes it a more stable oil. Not to mention unsaturated fatty acids are actually associated with anti-inflammatory properties. Um, they are not inflammatory, as many people like to claim, without evidence. So canola oil and other oils that are liquid at room temperature are mostly unsaturated fatty acids. These are less stable than hydrogenated or saturated fats, which are the ones that are uh, solids at room temperature. This just means they have the potential to oxidize faster, so they will have a shorter shelf life, and if exposed to air, they can become rancid. That doesn't mean that they are always automatically rancid. Trust me, you would know if there's a rancid oil because they smell really bad. And this whole thing makes entirely no sense. He has no clue what he's talking about. 